20 million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both ways. see the world when I want to, when I want to, shopping sprees when I want to, when I best miss with interest a show do, that'll do, $5,000 on the hotel. What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Guess what we have in the house? Hey y'all. <laughs> Welcome back lady. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Mm. <laughs> Missed you. She abandoned me. She abandoned you guys. Guys, he said that a million and one times. I did not abandon him. I did not abandon you guys. Well, hmm. she abandoned us to go <laughs> get his, her hair done. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I mean, let, let's talk about the food, then we'll get into it, you know, as to where I've been, why I haven't been here, and stuff like that. No diggity, no doubt. Oh, yeah, let's get to it. So you want to tell them what it. we have? Let's get to it. We have a nice, juicy pork. Um, Cajun blackened pork chop. It's yeah, not that. burnt. It's, it's blackened. I don't know what's something <laughs> pork steak. Pork chop. Um, nice salad, mm -hmm. healthy. And this is... I've got the name of it. Mofongo. Mofongo. Well, actually, it's Trifongo. So, um... Trifongo? You, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you know the, the typical mofongo is, you know, just the plantain, yeah. the green plantain that's fried and mashed with garlic mm -hmm. and the chicharron and stuff like that. Yes. I am not really a fan of that because, A... She's not a fan? Most places I've had it, it's, like, really dry mm -hmm. and heavy on the garlic. Um, so this is another thing that Puerto Ricans do. Um, a few Puerto Ricans that I know, they do trifongo. Mm. It's basically, yes, the green plantain. Then there's a uh, maduro, which mm. is the yellow ripened sweet plantain yeah. and yuca. Ah. So they put those three together, mash it, do the same process. However, I did not fry them like they usually do. I boiled them. She boiled them. Yeah, so they're a little bit more tender. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer that texture. It's kind of yeah. almost like mango, uh -huh. you know, texture-wise, but yeah. And it's so thick and rich that it just fills you up. You don't need Exactly, this. exactly. Yeah. And um, for the topping, I like to control the amount of garlic. Because as I said, usually I find mofongo mm. in most restaurants like too garlicky, yeah. like raw garlic taste. So I made a little garlic, um, fresh raw garlic here with some cilantro. Now where would that go? That go on the it goes on top of the or on the pork chop. On top of the trifongo. Trifongo. Yeah. I think that's the word she made up. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's a thing, y'all. She making up stuff. <laughs> here, and you can put it on your your pork chop if you want to. It's up to you. Kind of looks like chimichurri. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. When I saw it. I thought it was what it was. Mm mm. Um, oh, that garlic, oh, that garlic is powerful. Yeah. Take it easy, it's really garlicky. I can handle this. Took okay. me to Ziggy. Your breath is gonna be kicking. That's why you love me, right? Mm. For your bad breath? <laughs> mm -hmm. Silly. I don't think so. <laughs> um, usually, you know, with my fungo, they put um, chicharron in it or whatever. Mm -hmm. I did some um, thick cut bacon. Oh, nice. Yeah, that I did in the air fryer. Again, just trying to keep it a little lighter. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. Gotta wash that nice way, you see what I'm saying? Keep it nice <laughs> for the summer. <laughs> Tell me what do you think? It's really good. It's really, that Very garlic good. is so strong. It's not that strong, girl. Yeah, it is. Guys, you, if, you, if you're eating this, you're gonna eat it with someone that you... That you love, you're cool yeah. with, you know what I'm saying? You're down with. Yeah. yeah, cause your breath, there's gonna be something going on with your breath. <laughs> After having the, the garlic sauce, it's very garlicky. Ooh. Right. Trying to cut this pork chop with a plastic knife. I probably should have gotten a regular knife. knife. I can't cut a pork chop with my hands. No, use your hands like I do. Oh, no, baby. Mm -mm. They're down dirty. We don't do that over here. <laughs> mm -mm. I prefer to cut my pork chop. How's the pork chop for you? Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender. Yeah, not bad. Juicy. Mm hmm. Oh, my mouth is full, so I can't talk right now. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, guys, as you know, give me a second.
Take a bite. Take a bite, guys. I really haven't been here in quite a while. I've been here, but not on the channel. <laughs> um, he's been doing great, holding it down with his car bangs. Oh, yeah. For whatever reason, he doesn't want to do, like, videos at home without me, so... I don't know why. He's just been doing car bangs. Why don't you want to do videos at home without me? Because we're a team. We're a unit. Okay, but... We're not individuals. When you get married, you're one. Okay, so, but... We do everything together. But we're not doing the car bangs together. You're doing the car bangs by yourself. What's the difference between you doing a car bang on your own or doing something here on your own? What's That's the difference? Different. That's right. I'm on the road. I'm doing my, my hustle. So I stop. I do a bang. A bang and bang. <laughs> a bit oh you know what it is i think it's because when you're out on the road you get to eat all the crappy junky food that i won't let you eat at home true <laughs> that's probably it um, but guys good point <laughs> but the stuff i'm the, the place i that I visit have like crappy crap you mean they're good places i mean it's not <laughs> it's not the place of the arches but you know <laughs> but um guys honestly if i'm being totally upfront with you like the main reason that well one of many main reasons that I haven't been here that much it's just that yes I love the channel you know and all of that but um mukbangs really aren't my thing that much and um yes we started out as a, as a mukbang because we both are foodies and we love food. But I've realized that like really to be successful in this space, it requires you to, you know, be eating like massive portions of food and um, spicy food and lots of seafood and True. stuff. That's also another reason why I'm not doing at home. You know, I miss us doing this together, but mm -hmm. I see all the other YouTubers much respect to you. I don't know how mm -hmm. you do it. Maybe when I was younger, I could have done it. But, you know, all that food, I mean, it's it's not healthy. Like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not getting down on anybody. I respect all of you And YouTubers. we don't even want to throw the healthy yeah, word out there. Yeah, don't I'm even sorry. throw the healthy word. I'm sorry, but... Because then there's some people who are watching will tell you that this that we're eating is not healthy. True. So I'm sorry for saying that. Okay. But... Yeah, just I've, I've come to a point where I mean, you might see me do some challenges here and there, but not like I used to. And some, like I guess I saw watch some of these YouTubers, I'm like wow, you know, and every day on the daily, you mm -hmm. know, and it's kind of like reminds me of what's that TV show where the, the, they have the cameras on them 24 7 Big Brother, mm -hmm. Big Brother, because it's like every single day, you know, you're in camera, you're you but, know, everybody's I mean, watching you. Really, that's what's needed to be successful on mm -hmm. YouTube, and maybe that's why we're, our channel's right. not doing so great. Because you gotta time, put that content out. But at the same time, yes, we're thankful we got, we, you know, we got to where we, mm -hmm. we are, but at the same time, all that, that big group that we were able to achieve of followers, when we put out a video, only have this many people f watching it. You know, right. and that hurts to the bone. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, because we put in our hard work and time. You know, the, the money we to buy the food. She, you know, she kills herself in the kitchen. You know, I set up everything. You know, I'm, and I get the face, the name. But seriously, you know, it's it, it's it, it really kills you. It really kills you. It hurts. It hurts because you put in a lot of work into this. You know, the editing process. Mm -hmm. You know. She's better than that. Like, she tried to teach me, but like, I'm not, that's not my... So, th yeah, it's not easy. as he mentions that, yeah. not, not to cut you off. Sorry. No, you... The, the whole massive amount of the food thing is, is one of, you know, the main issues. And, you know, it's a lot of fast food mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I don't know if, you, if you, you've seen the history of our videos that we haven't really done a lot of fast food mm -hmm. videos in comparison to everyone else. We mostly do, like, home-cooked meals mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. And besides that, and that just not genuinely being our thing, mm -hmm. um, my real passion is actually travel. Mm -hmm. Travel is my thing. I'm obsessed with it, <laughs> literally. And um, the travel industry, my business, um, I have my own travel business, mm -hmm. is starting to pick up. People are getting back out there. 
and it's just becoming really busy um and i have a lot going on and as he mentioned going back to the mm -hmm. editing i do all the editing mm -hmm. and the posting and the tags mm -hmm. and all of that and the thumbnail and stuff for and that's hard work it takes videos. up a lot of time yeah so um for me to carve out the time to sit and record a video with him and then i've got to find the time to go and edit the video and create the thumbnail mm -hmm. amongst all the other stuff that i have to yeah. do it's it's just not feasible mm -hmm. um, to do that on a, on a very consistent basis. So um, it's, it's a little bit easier for him to film on his own since he doesn't have to do the editing and the thumbnail and, and stuff like that. While he's filming, I could be working on a video that he already recorded um, and stuff like that. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Yeah, that is um, just another one of the reasons I really haven't <laughs> been here that much. Maybe if I get cold. Yeah. Okay, so you talk. <laughs> so guys, okay. we're not leaving you. I'm we're, not leaving you. She's not leaving you. <laughs> the channel, you know, might take a little bit different direction. You know, just, you know, I think there's some, some other YouTube we heard are going to do the same thing. But we're not leaving you. I hope you guys don't leave us. We love you guys. I'm okay signing off already. No, 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 no. <laughs> just whatever comes to my mind, say it. So I won't forget. <laughs> I'm just letting you eat. Mm -hmm. This pork chop is really tender. Mm -hmm. oh. The way you're gnawing at it, like... It's good. Caveman style. That's how I eat. They know me. Yeah. They do. They do. So, besides that, guys, how's the summer? <laughs> <laughs> how's the heat treating you? Because mm -hmm. the heat is like really treating us real bad. Yeah, pretty good. You know, every day, 100, 100, 500, 750. Yeah. Really bad. Very hot. And with the aggressive, it's not just really, it's mm. not just here in Texas. There are a lot of other places across the country that's been experiencing this crazy heat. Except the East Coast, because mm -hmm. just now, the East Coast is starting to get a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. That's what my mom tells me. Yeah. It's in the East Coast of New York. But I'm like, and it depends on where in the East Coast. Because in Florida, yeah. Florida's getting the screechingly hot heat. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Vegas, Arizona, a lot of places. And along with this ridiculous heat is a lot of people having outrageous mm -hmm. um, electricity Bill. bills. Like, mm-mm. Some next level electricity bills, guy. It's like. And speaking of Vegas, somebody here is going to Vegas pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. But I just got to vent about this electricity bill. Mm -hmm. Like, the last one that we got is literally the highest electricity bill we have ever gotten in the history of electricity bills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that for us. Because we're in a two-bedroom apartment, two-bedroom, two bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Yes, we both work from home. Mm -hmm. um, so we're here all day. Yeah. And computers are on. But usually, you know, like other stuff is off. And I, I, I really don't feel like in particular that we have a lot of electronics and stuff running. No. And, but there's like literally no reason yeah. <clears throat> for our light bill to go from like a... Typical of about $160 a month. Mm -hmm. And then the last one just shot up to $240. Wow. The highest one we have ever, ever, ever I mean, seen. I get a third job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> so, I mean, like, guys, comment down below and let me know if um, you guys are feeling the summer pinch. That's what I call it, the summer pinch of the electricity bill. Because I've seen some folks that are, you know, like, really getting mm. it. Um, I saw a lady in Florida on the news that she has a three-bedroom home. And she got a light bill for, an electricity bill for $459. Holy crap. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. She practically passed out when she saw that. $459. And that's for one month. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Mm -hmm. I know when I call the energy company, 
they're saying during the daytime, when you're in the house, up and about, you should have set your thermostat to 78. When you're leaving for the day, set your thermostat to 85. Mm -hmm. And at night, when you're going to bed, set your thermostat to 82 and use the fan. <coughs> what? Yeah, I don't know who is doing that. That sounds crazy. We ain't doing that. 80, listen, since we got the last bill, I've tried increasing the thermostat to 75, and we're literally sweating at night mm -hmm. with the fan on. Like sweaty. Yeah. I can't sleep. It's like sweat, <laughs> sweat, sweat. So I'm like, 75 isn't even, isn't cutting it for us either. So we're just going to go back to our 70 or 72 that we're used to, just suck it up, and it is what it is, and we'll just hope that... Once this summer heat passes and, you know, things go back to normal <laughs> in the fall. I need a that, pool. That's yeah, that's true. We need a pool. Clean up. So, yeah. Comment and let us know how y'all's electricity bill is doing if y'all are feeling the Comment summer down below. pinch. Comment down below. Comment down below. Let's communicate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fungal. Good job. It's delicious. Very good. The pork. Man, yeah. delicious. I like, you didn't even um, need the salad. They're just this in the... In the yeah. Trafongo. Yeah. Although we didn't need the salad, I like having a little bit of greens. <laughs> but Trafongo, I guess like, the Trafongo, the name is kind of weird. This um, called Mofongo. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Mofongo three times. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That sounds better. Mofongo three times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just by itself, it fills you up. Mm hmm It really does. Yeah. And... For me, I still find, although it fills you up, I find it a little lighter than the regular mofongo since yeah. it's not fried. And I love the hint of sweetness that mm -hmm. the maduro, which is a sweet yellow plantain, gives it. It'll be a good breakfast. Oh, yeah. With a fried egg At the same top? time, it'll leave you so full, you wouldn't want to go to work. Well, you could just skip lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have this for breakfast, it'll hold you until dinner. But then you wouldn't want to go back to work. True. Definitely true. If you guys want me to do a quick little video of me making the trifungo. Mofongo three times. <laughs> Come and let me know. Mm -hmm. I'll recruit him to record because, and that's the other thing. I don't even do those, um, you know, like recipe videos anymore. Because typically I'm cooking and recording it myself. I'm like holding the camera here, or putting on the stick on the, the tripod, making sure it's, you know, at the right angle. Anybody got time for that? <laughs> <laughs> but if you're willing to hold the camera and stuff. Of course. No doubt. I got you, girl. I got you. Know, you. <laughs> I'll do a little mm -hmm. recipe video for the three fongo. That's right. Mofongo Mo three, three times. <laughs> or three times, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys. It was great catching up with y'all. Really, really great. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> I'll do that more often. Yeah. Um, so guys, you like a new look? What new look? It's new look a, style. It's not a new look. <laughs> My hair is shrunk a lot, as um, y'all can see. But um, yeah. Um, I'll be back in September. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? <laughs> I'll be That's back. I'll be back in September. I'll tell you how my trip to Vegas went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without um, me. No, but I give her permission. You know, girl's trip. Ooh, permission? I need permission? Yeah. Listen, I go where I'm The head of the go. house. <laughs> yeah. I have to put a stamp on it. Guys, don't listen to him. I go where I want to go, when I want to go. So, I'm That's going... That's how I let her think. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to Vegas with my sister <coughs> and my friend, Christina. You see, I'm coughing, dummy. <laughs> what? I'm coughing says it all. What does it tell? Yeah, I need to give permission. I gave permission. I said, you told me. I was okay, you can go. I'm coughing because this garlic is so strong, it's tickling my throat, sure. so. <coughs> um, yeah. So, we're going to go see Diana Ross in concert. What's that? Um. Oh. I want the world to know that I'm... All right, I don't want 
business to, you know, copyright and all that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tracy Ross, you know, you know mm -hmm. Tracy Ross. Everyone knows Tracy Ross, her mm -hmm. mama. <laughs> um, yeah, you Jana Ross fan. So <clears throat> we're going to go see her in Vegas. Um, we're going to go eat at my favorite place in Vegas, which is Hell's Kitchen. He hasn't been. <laughs> He hates the fact that hey, I've been to Hell's come. Kitchen. I don't care. I'll be here eating pizza. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, I'm going to miss it, but at the same time, I'm going to be happy. Oh, uh, yeah. Get what I want. Go places. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Now, do you see who's the real boss? He has to wait for me to leave to eat what he wants. <laughs> what choice do I have? <laughs> She's not a pizza person. No. Um. So, yeah. I'll... I can't promise I'm going to vlog the entire trip. <coughs> Chances are that won't happen. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'll try to She's sneak. Trying. I'll try to sneak a couple of videos, pictures, mash it together. Mm -hmm. So you guys feel a little bit included <laughs> on um, our Vegas trip. And then that's, we're going at the end of September. Mm -hmm. Um, and then two weeks after. Monday to Monday, can put my calendar. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and then at the um, two, I think it's like a week and a half or two weeks after we get back from mm. um, Vegas, then we mm -hmm. are in mm -hmm. October, the first week of October, um, we're going on vacation for my birthday, my born day. Yeah. So we are going to Panama, mm -hmm. not Panama City, Florida. No. no. Panama, Panama, yeah. the country, Central America. Um, and for that one, we'll also try to do a little bit of vlogging. Of course, we got you guys. And so, I'm going to continue doing what I do. Yeah. Keep doing reviews around Texas. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's a little bit of an update <coughs> um, for you guys. I'm, you know, focused and on my travel thing. I had created a... Uh, a a channel for my business um, but I never really filmed any videos or anything for it before really? it's just there yeah oh. um, I, I just created it but I never did anything with it so if you guys are at all interested in the world of travel you mm -hmm. know travel deals and promos and mm -hmm. just to talk about different places in the world y'all would like to go to and stuff like that let me know if I should start you know like Putting up videos once a week, that's all I'll commit to. <laughs> or once every other week on my my travel channel. Well, if you guys you know want to go somewhere, hit her up on Instagram. She'll give you the info, communicate, she'll give you the hookup. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, with that being said, it's time to say adios. Adios, peace. So next time, please comment down below. Share us out with everybody and everybody. And everybody you do know, you don't know. Yeah, that's right. And please don't leave us. We're not going to leave you. Peace. Much love. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Twenty million dollars. Twenty mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both.